What's going on guys, it's me, Mr MOJP, and I am back once again for more Ruby. Finally. It's been a whole week since you've last seen me, I can't believe it. So yeah, what happened last week? Um, Mercury revealed he doesn't have a semblance. He got it stolen by his dad. So he killed his dad. Sounds great logic there. Hmm, and... Uh, we found Ozpin. He's got he's on a new coat. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all that happened last week. Obviously, totally nothing to do with any statue of a girl who died with a red-haired lady next to the boyfriend of the girl who died. Oh well, that's totally not a thing that happened. God, that was amazing last week. I loved every second of it. I'm hoping this week is just on par or even better with everything else we've had so far. As I'm, oh, it's, hopefully, it's time for the highest of the century, or the highest of the day, I don't know, I usually have a shape, anyway, I'm going to be starting the video in 3, 2, 1, now, oh, hang on, that messed up, sorry, 3, Two, one, now. This is how the war begins. All wings engage, interceptors. And that more Genlock. It's two o'clock, Angel Six. Round, do you see that? I see it. Contact, hostile net attack. Shit. Still your contact. I am so looking forward to Genlock in three weeks as well. This is not airspace confusion. This is not a terrorist action. This is war. This is it. The Union's making their play. January 26th, 2019. I cannot wait. This is definitely my favourite opening theme song still. Move fast. The darkness cannot last. I still don't know the lyrics. Oh, this episode's about 14 minutes long, by the way, so just a heads up. And we can Something's definitely happening to Crow this year, I can tell. I could just tell straight away. We haven't seen Adam yet, even though he's in the opening trailer, not opening music thing. I've still got cold, just so you know. So I'll probably sound horrible. We'll find our way and we'll get to get together someday soon. Rising like the moon. Let's do this thing. Oh yeah, they're going to steal an airship from Atlas because that makes perfect sense. I was relieved to hear that you came to your senses, Mishni. Many of us were devastated when we heard you would be attending Beacon Academy. Knowing that you'll be returning to Atlas just warms my old heart. It was time to get my act together and go back to my roots. Oh, I can't wait to see you follow in your sister's footsteps. Absolutely. Yeah, totally. My best guards to personally escort you. Make sure General Ironwood hears that part. Allow me to assist you. With <coughs> What a heavy man! That's all right. Nonsense. Allow me to assist as well. I can oh, oh. take care of it by myself. Mm. Just like we practiced. What the hell? Look at that. He's just going to miss you so much. You should hurry on out of here. A crime child. We must console it. <laughs> God damn it. I love them too. They're just so stupid. It's amazing. Or on board. All right, 
Well, I'll watch our scrolls. The second Weiss is out of range of the comm tower, that'll mean she's out of range of the radar, too. And that's when Blake steps in. We're almost at the drop off. How is this plan even going to work? Of course it never happened. Don't worry. This isn't the first time I've disabled Atlas security. Never happened. God damn it, Blake. You sure I shouldn't come with? More intruders means we're more likely to be seen. Besides, stealth isn't exactly your... Um... Yeah. I mean, you're great, and I'll hurry back. God damn it. Go. Yeah, she's got a point. Yang's not really the best at stealth. Won't be long. Yes, it's all going to plan. <clears throat> I mean, uh, Roger. God damn it, Sean. <laughs> Crow doesn't like this plan at all, I can tell. Hey, this is gonna work. Hmm. They're all out of range. Miss Nee, for your own sake, we must request a traitor. What? This parachute won't excuse you of your treachery. <laughs> God damn it, Weiss. That is so evil. of our generation don't you understand right but what has that got to do with flying <laughs> what you are saying that you said your eyes were in desperate need of repair god <laughs> god damn it. i love maria and why so much it's amazing Why is this plan working? It really shouldn't. All right, guys, this is it. Blake, you're up. Blake. Blake. Blake's been caught. Yeah, what's going on? I don't know. Adam. Got something on radar. And who would be foolish enough to enter our airspace unannounced? Apparently, us, ma'am. Uh, Mesa 5 1, this is Argus Base. We see you circle back. What's your status? Over. Why can they see us? Somebody dropped the ball. Don't worry, I've worked with Atlas forces before. I know their jargon. <clears throat> August base, this is Manta 5-1. Feel free to gap off. Thought we were going to scrub due to FOD, but we're back up and green across the board. Over. <laughs> Manta 5-1, return to base immediately or you will be treated as hostile. Over. God damn it, Maria! You had one job! <laughs> but our pilots aren't elderly women. <laughs> well, they got me there. God damn it. My mind really is going. Why would you kids let me fly this thing? <laughs> No. Undermine my authority. If you don't return my ship this instant, I will make an example out of you. I will show you. <laughs> this is brilliant. I love it so much. It's so crazy. You hear that, Cordo? That's the sound of me not caring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so good. <laughs> I'm going in. Let's do this thing. Maybe we should fly over to help Yang and Blake first? Damn it. Cordo's gonna scramble her fighters. We've got maybe 90 seconds before they're in the air and all over Weiss and Maria. This is all my fault. What are you talking about? How is it your fault? Your semblance? 
Every choice I've ever made has led me here. I dragged you along with me. Oz, myself, the others. We're responsible for the mess the world's in now. I shouldn't have come. I shouldn't have let any of you come. What was I thinking? Yeah! What's this got to do with anything, Crow? It's got nothing to do with you. We're all in this together, and we're all going to do the best we can. That's all anyone can do. And I know it's what you've always aimed for. We would have come whether or not you'd let us, so stop talking like we're your responsibility. We're not. Yeah. But we could still use Crow Bronwyn on our side. I don't think he's going to stay. He's going to go. <laughs> How did you grow up so fast? Oh. I had good role models. Good role models. She's not sending fighters. What? They're just gonna shoot her down, aren't they? Oh no. Yep. Oh god. <laughs> what is going on? What is this thing? Oh. It's. It's Genlock. Clearly the people have forgotten that they live in peace thanks to the awesome might of Atlas. Is Cordovan piloting that? Consider this a reminder. No. This is a bad idea. Why are you doing something? You're supposed to be protecting Wise. No. Ah, great. Why would you fly it back over? What is going on? Lost her mind. And that was merely a warning shot. All Atlas personnel stand by and watch how your leader maintains order. It's uh, Genlock versus Ruby. Who will win? Yeah. Hurry back, Weiss. I need you on the ground if we're gonna take this thing down. Why is the radar up? We don't know. Blake's in funding. Oh, Blake, what are you doing? What? <gasps> yes, I knew it. It's Adam. He's he's already broken in. He so he broke in. He's killed all the guards. Come into my life and ruin everything. You stalked me across Anima. I don't want anything to do with your life. Okay, this is pretty cool. I'm really I hope this is going to be a great fight. Where's he gone? He's so How is he so quick. I understand Blake being quick. Oh, and there he is. Because why not? And here comes Yang. Come on. Come on, someone. Do something. Let go of the past, Adam. <laughs> Do it for yourself. Just forget it all. Is that what you did to me? Yeah. Just threw our memories away. Adam. I let you go once already, Blake. I'm not letting it happen again. Making that mistake again. No. And off go. Oh, what is that? The end. What? No, don't leave me on that cliffhanger, Rooster Teeth. How could you? Wow. I didn't even have much to say this whole episode. <laughs> what? Okay, so... I didn't have anything to say. Mainly because I was listening to everything and just... I was just trying to pay attention this week. That was amazing. So... 
Um, Midget Girl, or Short Girl, whatever you want to call it, is is for some reason in a mech suit. Uh, why? <laughs> Where did that mech suit come from? And is this Genlock already? <laughs> oh. I still don't like that character of the the general. I, I she's just I don't I don't know how to explain it. She just pushes me all the wrong pushes all the wrong buttons, which is I hope is what's going to happen. And she's going to fall out of the mech suit. Um, I do though kind of like the two security men that are just following her about. They're quite funny. I quite like them. Oh. Um. The baby, for some reason, can cry so loud that it distracts everyone in the Atlas military base. Ugh. But, wow. I don't think this episode was as good as last week's. Last week's was pretty much everything Ruby wanted to be. It, has, it had fighting, it had story, it had more story, and it had funny moments like last, last week was. This week, I see what they were trying to do. I just didn't like it as much as last time. I'm I, I'm acting like I actually know what I'm talking about. I just didn't like this episode as much as last week's. Unfortunately, even though it's still a good episode, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's bad in any way. Adam, what are you doing here? You just magically appeared out of nowhere to fight Blake. No. <sighs> And now Blake doesn't even have a scroll. Brilliant. It is. I am looking forward to Blake and Adam actually fighting each other for a change instead of just. Last volume. <laughs> I'll say that nicely. I did like last volume as well. Um, but what the hell? It's just... I like Adam's new power of magically being able to teleport exactly where Blake was standing. That was. Kind of funny. But I wish they didn't just end on that cliffhanger. I know we've still got four more episodes, 11, 12, 13 and 14, over the next four weeks. I f believe we have that anyway. But like, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm looking forward to the fight next episode. I'm sure Yang's going to come in and do something. Maybe lose another arm. Who knows? And Atlas probably won't help her this time because they've stolen a bloody warship from them. Not a bullhead, whatever it is. So yeah. Pretty good episode. Pretty short episode. I did kind of, I did like it. I wish it was a little bit longer maybe. But I knew this heist wasn't gonna work, even though last week I said it would totally work, because it's an anime. It probably still work once they've sorted it all out, but Kind of not the best idea to have some evil terrorist guy flying around with you. Not flying around, but like sitting around with you. Just to top your every move. That's probably not going to help you escape. So yeah. That was Ruby episode 10. Stealing from the elderly. <laughs> I love that name, it's so good. And yeah. If you like the video and you're new to the channel and haven't seen me before, I'm Mitch. It's nice to meet you. Why not like, comment and subscribe for more Ruby videos every week. Starting from this week, I'm going to be uploading, I'm going to hopefully be uploading a different type of game, computer game either. I might do WWE 2K19 or a run through of Ruby Grim Eclipse just because like, I'm a Ruby channel, might as well, right? I haven't played that game in about a year, well, in about six, seven months. So yeah, that might be fun. Um, so yeah, hope you liked the video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!